everyone and welcome back to stylish and your youtube channel thank you so much guys i really appreciate um all of your support for my channel for watching my videos for liking my videos if you are new uh you're welcome if you have not subscribed please do ensure to subscribe hit on the notification bell just beside the subscribe button so you get updates whenever i upload a new video so thank you so much guys yeah Today at Stylish Nigeria YouTube channel, I'm going to be teaching you how to cut, uh, sorry, how, rather how to draft a four-piece piece blouse, yeah, a four-piece blouse, that's what I'm actually going to be teaching you, what, how to draft today, and this four-piece blouse, I'm just going to do a quick uh, explanation before I do the draft, it's, uh, you could see the picture up here, it's this kind of blouse that you see on people's body, and you, you wonder, you like, but this, blouse is not this is not six pieces blouse you see it it comes it looks like an a-line gown and yeah uh, i'm sorry this blouse is not it's, it looks like an a-line blouse but yet you see that it has the bustier cuts on it it sits perfectly on your body it's tight around the bust area and then on the side that the down part it opens up a bit so that's what i'm actually going to be teaching you what how to draft today it really looks good so like i always say to my subscribers pattern drafting is something that you don't really need to have a fabric before you try it out if you don't if you can't get pattern papers you could get um old newspapers you could get old calendars just try it out try pattern drafting just try try it and then you see once it comes out well on your pattern you know that it will definitely come out well on your fabric just try it just keep practicing and like i say practice makes perfect when it comes to sewing practice that's just key so without much talk let's just go straight to the point so i've made out some um basic lines here which i'm just gonna be explaining to you so you can see uh, what i have here for this um four piece blouse this is um the first line i have here so i'm just going to go ahead and just like a label so this is like the shoulder line which you you leave half an inch so this half an inch is what you're going to use as your a stitch line that's just like the allowance to stitch the shoulder so the first line i have here which is from the shoulder to from the shoulder to my um, bust line is is the bust line this is that's from the shoulder to the bust line which is this point so this is the bust line which is 10 inches so this is the bust line so the next uh, line that i have here is the under bust which is this point for for bust here these are basic that you, you you like like standard you can't do without them so this is the under bust measurement and then the next line that i have here this is this is the the waistline so this is the waistline since this is a straight uh blouse as in that's it does not have any joining at the middle so this is the waist line and then this is the hem line that is the down part and then my allowance so from here i have 10 inches for my bust line and then 13 for the under bust and then 16 for my waistline and then 20 20 for 23 and a half rather for my hemline that's the down part of my blouse that's the full length of the blouse so this is this so the first thing i'm going to do now this um tutorial i'm going to really make it very detailed so i'm not going to mind the minutes that it's going to take i want you to really understand what i'm going gonna be doing so the first thing i'll do now for my pattern paper i'm gonna measure out three inches from this side so you can you can see what i have this is like three inches so i'm just gonna fold i'm going to be folding in that three inches i'll fold it in i'll come back later and show you what so you can see so this is my folded on three inch that i folded inside so what i have now have now for my pattern paper is on um, 15 inches so you could fold your pattern at, uh, use your bust measurement to divide it into four. I'm just saying this. This is a, a draft, but I'm just trying to explain for the sake of newbies that, that are learning how to sew. You divide your bust measurement into four, and then you add um, like between four and five inches allowance to it. So that helps you to determine how to fold your fabric. So the next thing I'm going to be doing now, I'm going to be starting with the neckline. 
so i'm going to be using for this four piece blouse i'm going to be doing the the princess that bustier uh metal that's what i'm going to be doing so this is like a two-in-one video so if you don't know how to to draft the princess that bustier this is i'm going to be doing it in a very simple way for you to understand so that's the pattern i'm going to be using for this blouse so the first thing i'm going to be doing here i'm going to be measuring three inches because i really do not want the neckline to be too um wide so th this is three inches here and then i'm going to be coming down with another three inches so i'm just going to take um my curve like this but rather take the smaller one so this is my three inches and then my three inches so i'm just going to do this so this is my neckline so the next thing i'm going to be doing now is the shoulder line and, and then i'll put my tape here for the shoulder line i'm going to be using 16 inches which is eight when you divide um rather i'll use 15 seven and seven and half so this is 15 inches and then i'm going to use a uh, one inch as my shoulder allowance so this is my shoulder allowance there so the next thing i'm going to be doing now from this point that's the shoulder allowance point i'm going to be measuring eight inches downward so eight inches can still rather serve as your chest line so this is my eight inches so i'm just going to connect a straight line from this point to this point and then bring it to this point so i'll take my ruler like this and then i'm doing this and then i'm coming out so you can see what i have so the next thing i'm going to be doing now I'll come to the midpoint, which is four inches. And then I'll measure half an inch. I'll just come out by half an inch or just a little bit. And then I'll take my, my uh, armhole curve. You could, if you don't have armhole, you could improvise. You could really improvise. So I'm just going to take it to this point first, just like this. And then from this point, I'm just going to be coming out and then going back in. So I'm just going to do this now. I rather I missed it up a bit. So, so that's for like my armhole. So the next thing I'm going to be really working on this point later. That's where I'm going to join the bustier um that out from so the next thing i'm going to be doing now i'll come to the my bust line so my bust span measurement for this i the bust span is um eight inches that's from one nipple to another i have a a, a video on my channel on how to take a bust here measurement so this is eight inches that's from this nipple to this nipple so and then you when you divide this into two you have four inches then i'll add half an inch to it so i just take my tape like this and then I'm measuring out four and a half. So this is four and a half points here on the bust line. And then I'll come to the under bust line. I'll measure the same four and a half. And then I'll come to the, uh, the waist line. I'll measure four and a half also. So I'm just going to be stopping it here. So I'll just connect my lines together with a straight line, just like this. So this is it. This is my straight line. So the next thing I'm going, going to be doing now, I'm going to be taking uh, the bust here, which is the princess start. So from this point. So the next thing I'm going to be doing now, take uh, the, sorry, I forgot my shoulder slant. Yeah, which is very important. So I just remember I needed, I talked about the armhole. So from the shoulder line, that's the allowance line, I'll take a uh, one inch to this point. So I'm just going to be slanting my neckline. I'll slant it to this point. So that helps. This serves as my shoulder line. So it's just going to be coming down like this to this point. So that is my shoulder slant. So you could see it now. So the next thing I'm going to be doing now, I'm going to be taking the middle of my armhole. So I'm just going to measure around. Most times, it's usually between 10 and 11 inches. So for this, I have 11 inches. So I'm just going to measure, um, I, sorry, I have 10 inches. What I measured was actually 10 inches. So I'll come down, which is, um, take the five inch on this point, on my armhole line. So this is five inches point. So 
what I'm going to be doing now, this is five inch now. And then from this point now, from this five inch point, I'll measure one inch to the right. This is one inch. And then I'll measure one inch to the left. So you can see it is already here. So this is one inch, one inch. So the next thing I'm going to be doing now, from this point, I'm going to be coming here with a line. Here also I'll come with a line, not very straight line. This middle one could really be straight, but this one is not really meant to be straight. And then this one also. So I'm just going to be bringing the three lines. So I'll first of all make use of my ruler, then later. You could decide to do the other pattern that you come up a bit and then come down. It's still the same. So just what you just do what works for you. So that's what matters. So I have it to this point. I'm going to be blending it. So don't just freak out yet. So So you see what I have. So the next thing I'm going to be doing, I'm just going to be blending this part. You could decide to make use of your free hand to do that. Or you could decide to make use of a, a curve to blend it out properly. You could still make use of your, your, your hand. You could just to just to blend it out a bit. So it's, it does not come out straight. So I have it blended out so you could see it nice. It's looking curved now, not straight again, the way it was because of the ruler. So the next thing I'm going to be doing now for my dart, that's I've, I've done the ample dart. So the next thing now is the dart for the mid part. So I'm just going to be taking my tape like this from the waistline. I'll measure one inch to this right hand side and then measure one inch to the left hand side. So this is one inch to the right, one inch to the left. And then from the under bust side, I'm going to, I'm not going to be doing one inch. I'm going to be doing 1.5, which is like one and a half inch. So this is one and a half inch. That's the under bust side. And then one and a half inch to the left. So this one is one inch. This one is one and a half. So the next thing I'm going to be doing now I'm just going to be making a curve from this point now to this point. That's I'm making a curve like this to meet this curve that I already made here. So in order for to make it easy, I'm just going to be using this um, curve. These are just simple curve. You could get them anywhere to buy. You don't really need to just walk yourself up you could get them from just your regular um bookshop so so you can see what i have you could see the bust line is already out perfectly well so the next thing for this point i'm going to be doing the same but this time i'm going to be turning it to this other side uh, <laughs> I'm about to confuse myself so I'm just going to do the same thing to this point like this so you can see what I have you can see the curve it's looking so beautiful look at the line that's the bustier line the princess that line so that is that so the next thing I'm going to be doing now I'm just going I'm, I'm going to be um Okay, before I let me leave this point first. So now, because of uh, we don't want it to get truncated when we cut, I'm going to be extending the the what do you call it the armhole line. So I'm going to be extending it. And note, this is the, this third line, the one that formed the bust here. That's the one I'm extending. I'm not this middle point, this whole middle point. I'm going to be cutting it off. So I'm not working with that. So what I I want is this one for the middle and then this one for the side so for the side one i'm just going to take my tape like this and then i'll measure two inch so i'm just going to measure two inch so this is 
like my two inch points now and then i'll use my ruler to extend the line you remember this line that i did initially so i'm just going to extend it like this so i have it now extended so the next thing i'm going to draw a new um do you remember this curve i made before so i'm going to do a second curve so that's going to be the new armhole line so i'm just going to do this just gonna do this so this is my new armhole line so this is your regular princess um that bustier so the next thing i'm going to be doing now the next thing i'm going to be doing i'm going to be coming down a bit but before then i'm just going to bring this one this um uh, my one and half to this point and then bring this one and half also to this point with my straight finger so i'm just going to do this you remember because the up is bigger so it's going to be tilting towards uh, each other so that's like this from this point to this point and then this point is coming to this point also i just want you to really understand so if this is was a half body now so i already have my half bodies of princess uh, bust so the next thing i'm going to be doing now since this is a a four piece and um, blouse so for the four piece blouse it's not like the regular six piece blouse that you make and, you, and your flake comes out no this one your flake does not come out but you just notice that the the blouse is a little bit free at the down so here you could actually decide on what to do so for the down part now i'm going to be measuring four and a half inch from this point like i told you it's not meant to be very wide it is not meant it's not like the um, six pieces or eight pieces that you see your flare flying around no so this is four and a half inches so the next thing i'm going to be doing now i'm going to be connecting my dart line from this point i'll connect it to this point and then this one from this point i'll connect it to this point so if from the pattern you see the blouse already coming out that's the the balance of the blouse will just be coming out so i'm just going to connect it like this So you could see so this is the midpoint and then for this other point i'm just going to be bringing it to this point also note for this point when you're cutting i'm going to be folding it so it doesn't truncate that point for me but if it's truncated since it is a pattern when you're cutting you could also you could still shape it out a bit so don't just get worked up okay so the next thing i'm going to be doing i'm going to be taking the full blouse measurement so that's what i'm going to be doing now i'm going to be taking the full blouse measurement so the first thing i'm going to be doing now is the bust measurement so for the bust measurement you remember this point so what i have here what is out from here is half an inch so i'm going to be adding that into the measurement so the bust uh, measurement is 40 inches so when you divide 40 into 4 for beginners you have 10 inches so this is my 10 inches and remember the half an inch that i removed from this point which is 10.5 okay sorry this is 10.5 that's for the half an inch and then i'll add uh, you could add between 3 inches to 4 inches to your allowance for your for your allowance so i'm just going to be adding three and half 3.5 uh, inches allowance i always like doing that i like excess adding excess because i don't want to run into any problem so i'm just going to be making a, a little straight line out so you just be seeing what i'm doing so i'm just so this is for the bust line so it comes down to those bust line points so the next thing now is the under bust measurement and you remember the three inch that we took out from the dart so we're going to be adding it now and the under bust is 30 inches that's the round uh, circumference of the under bust so when you divide on uh, 30 into 4 you have 7.5 so this is my 7.5 which is seven and a half this is the seven and a half and then you remember our three inches that we took out from this point that is this point marked x so i'm just going to add it back so this is the three inches now and then i'll add uh, my um regular uh, allowance to read for under bust most time i always like on reducing the under bust measurement so i'm going to be using 2.5 for the under bust 
allowance remember the first one i used 3.5 so i'm just going to mark it like this so you can see what i have now so the next thing is the waistline measurements that's the waist of your blouse so and the waist and line is um, i'm going to be using 36 inches so when you divide 36 into 4 you have 9 inches so you remember our 2 inch for this part i'm going to be adding it again so this is my 9 inches and then i'll add this 2 inches because if you cut it off if you don't add it you run into problem you have to add it so this is the 2 inches point and then for the waistline i'm going to be adding um 3.5 inches again just like i did to the bust line so i'm going to be adding it so from this point now i'm going to be coming like this and then i'll for the end line i'll just measure what i have left so for this point which is 40 inches is okay because the blouse is not really meant like i told you it's not meant to be to to be fitted at the down part so i'm just going to do this now so i'm just I'm just going to use my pattern paper line so because if I follow this point it's going to get truncated so I'm just going to do this now so you can see what I have so you can see my blouse it's looking all so beautiful up so the next thing I'm going to be doing now before I cut out anything um you remember the front of this um blouse like I showed you initially it actually has a zipper at the front so that was the essence of this um, three inches line that I that I put for the zipper allowance. So this is it now. So I'm going to be working on it now. So for the top part, I'm going to be using one and a half inch for my zipper allowance. That's from the neck line point. So this is um, like one and one point five. The essence is because zipper you have to sew and turn, so you don't want to run into any problem. So this is one point five. 1.5 i'm just going to maintain my 1.5 for my zipper allowance 1.5 1.5 1 1.5 up to my waistline so i'm just going to use my straight ruler to rule it for you in order not to confuse you so you understand that's the zipper allowance So this is my zip allowance this is my zipper allowance so the next thing i'm going to do now i'm going to be extending the neckline because you can't cut it out like this it's going to get truncated so i'm just going to do this now i'm just going to put my tape like this sorry my um curve like this and then i'll extend my neckline so you can see the neckline is extended the neckline is extended this part is not among this is where i'm coming to that's from this point to this point that's the allowance so I'm just going to rule it out for you so you see it clearly. So this is the zipper allowance here. This this mid front, this is the zipper. This one is going to be cut off. So this side is not among. So the next thing I'm going to be doing now for the hem part of this um, blouse, that's from the waist line point you remember this is my one at 1.5 allowance and i have three inches here so i'm just going to be consuming my entire three inch from this point so i'll consume it because i need the, the blast the down part is going to be open a bit so i'm just going to consume the make use of the remaining um inch so this if you want it bigger you could decide to extend it but if you extend it too much it will look like a six pieces blouse so you can see what i have I hope you understand. I hope you do understand. So I'm just going to cut it out bit by bit in order for you to understand. So the first thing I'm going to cut out, I'll cut out the allowance part so you see the beauty of the blouse. I'll cut out the excess. That's the part that is not included in this pattern. So this is what we have. 
so this is our zipper so i'll just put notch here so this is our zip allowance this is the zipper allowance for the front to this point like this so when you're coming now when you get to this point as you're fixing the zip as you're fixing the zipper when you get to those um down points you extend you tilt your hand towards this part so that's it you use this part as your allowance and then when you get to this point you, you tilt it to the edge part so that's it so that is for that so the next thing i'm going to be doing now i'll cut out the armhole side sorry that's the, the i'll cut out the neckline for this point i have to be careful so i need to show you how to cut it properly that you're not run into any problem so the next thing i'm going to be doing now i'm going to be cutting out this side you have to take note of this point I finished cutting the I finished cutting the blouse that's the draft I finished cutting out this this is the middle piece then for this point that's the zipper allowance um, part if you use uh, if you as you're using the one and half line if you maintain the one and half point down you are still going to you are still not going to achieve any result because at the end it's still going to look like this the, the middle point is still going to be straight so when you get to this point you're going to be tilting it out a bit that's doing uh, the fix the zipper fixing in a later video i'm going to be showing you how to make this dress so from this point from this point you're just going to be using one inch from this down part between one and one if if i'm the one that is making it i could use half an inch to achieve uh, the zipper part so this is a um, one inch on this point so you're just going to be tilting it so you still have an extra inch on this side i just actually forgot to say that earlier on so this is how it's going to be looking so your zipper is going to be coming in like this it's going to be coming in but it's still going to be open this midpoint is still going to be open a bit at the down because if you maintain this straight line it's going to be slim it's still going to be fine but the the, the blouse will not be open perfectly well so and you're just going to be using this point this one inch from the three inch point you remember um the up part was 1.5 that's from the neckline to the waistline is 1.5 then from this point down you use one inch to achieve on your zipper allowance from this point so when the next time i'm sewing this blouse I'm, I'm going to remind you and then show you how to do that so the next thing i'm going to be doing now i'll draft the back body so this is the front so this is how it will look like so this is it this was what i was trying to explain to you so you could just see the beauty of the the blouse is it's already coming out for the back and bodies for the back part of my pattern so i've made out for um because of time i've made out um, my basic bodies pattern so i'm just going to be explaining everything that i have here now to you so the first thing i did for the basic and uh, for the back pattern I, I measured out the neckline which is a little bit higher than the the front the front uh, depth was three inches this one is two inches so that's the two two inches by three inches and then my regular shoulder slant and then my armhole line and then this is the bust line my under bust line and then my waist line so the line that i have here this is the dart which is our my bust span half of my bust span measurement which is 4.5 so just like i did for the front i measured it 
here, here, and here. That's on the bust line, under bust, and then the waistline. So 4.5 up to this point. And then the dots that you have that I have here is the measurement, my blouse measurement, just like I did to the front piece. The the bust uh, measurement, which is 40 inches, and then plus my allowance. The under bust measurement, which is 32 plus my allowance, and then the waist measurement, which is 30. Six plus my allowance. So the next thing I'm going to be doing now connect the lines. So I'll just join them like this So I'm just going to join them like this And then bring down To my waist measurement and then use it for the hem point here So the next thing I'm going to be doing now, I'm going to be showing you how to dart this back for this back, you could see that the back, since the zip is at the front, this you could decide to open up the back and then join it back. You could decide to do that or you could just decide to leave it that way. But most times, I always advise you open it and then join it back. It always makes it sit better. You could do that by adding just one inch extra to it. And then that one inch, you use it to just stitch the back bodies together. So the next thing I'm going to be doing now, I'm going to be showing you how to do the dart for you to get it. In, in doing that, so I already have the, this dart here, that's for this midpoint. So the next thing I'll do now, I'm going to come to my shoulder line from this point. This is my shoulder line. I'll measure, remember the, the, um, the shoulder is actually 15 inches. So I'm going to measure 6 inches from this point. So this is my 6 inches. From the shoulder I'll measure, yes i'll measure six inches from the shoulder to do my dart so what i'm going to be doing i'm going to be using dotted lines in order for you to understand what i want to do this sort of that you could decide to use it for other projects you could use it for other other styles and then it will still work out fine you could see what i'm doing i'm making like a curve down to this point so the curve comes to my I'm just going to continue and then when I get to the under bust then that's to the waistline under bust and then bust line so not, it's not that not to confuse you so I have like a curve here for my dad when I get to this point I'm going to stop and then I'll measure because in dress making you all your your measurements all of them they have to be accurate so I'm going to measure what do I have here so that is what I'm going to use for the hemline on this point so I have um seven inches here that's everything here so i'm going to use my seven inches here i'm going to repeat the seven inches here that i have here for my midpoint in order not to run into any problem so this is my seven inches so from this seven inches i'm going to draw a line a slanted line just to match what i have here so at the end of the day when you make the dress it's going to be perfect so i'm just going to blend this like this I'm just going to blend my lines or just blend it so you could see my dart my back dart i'm just going to blend it so that is that so for this down part i'm going to i already have my full body measurement so i'm going to cut it out first because this other part, if I leave it like this, this part, that flare will not come out. So I'll show you how to achieve this part. So I'm just going to cut the middle part out. And remember, the shoulder slant line. So I'm going to take this part, which is the remaining part. I'll just cut out everything. Like I told you, you, see this point, if I leave it like this, it's going to, it's not going to form properly. So I'm going to get a, another pattern paper. I'll get another pattern paper to enable me to get this flay, to get another flay on this side. Just as simple as that. So I have my, my back pattern, that's the side, on another pattern paper. And note what I'm going to do here. I'm going to be duplicating everything that I have here. I'm going to be duplicating it. The only thing where I'm going to be doing altering is from the waist 
line that's from this waistline that's where i'm going to be altering and the essence of altering is, is just for it to bring out a little flay because if i decide to do it like this it's the flay will not come out the slight flay will not come out so that's just the essence of this and in order for me to be able to achieve this properly i'm going to be needing the help of this just like we do for our six pieces um blouse so i'm just going to be needing the help of this and then I'll, I'll just turn it like this turn it backward i'm just going to turn it backward and here you can determine how many inch you actually want it to be it's not meant to be too big so i think i'm just going to use um i'm just going to use three inch which is okay so i'll just turn it to the back like this in order to get the edges straight to make them equal so i'm just going to to slant it to make a slant with my ruler just plant it like this to this point so this is this so so this is just like my my back pattern and so i'll just cut it out in order for you to see and then this will not be in use anymore You can see what I now have, and then this is now the side. So this is now my back piece. So you could see, you see the flay is not, it's not like it's a big flay or whatsoever. But the the pattern, the dress will still come out perfectly well. Like I said, if you want to open up this side, you could decide to open that up. So this is now the back. We are meant to cut out two of these. So, but I just cut out one because it's a pattern. I could still make use of one. And then this is the front piece. So guys, this is your four-piece blouse. So, like I said in a later video, I'm going to be showing you how to cut it on an actual fabric and then how to sew it also. So I've now come to the end of this video. If you find this video helpful, please do not hesitate to hit on the like button. Subscribe if you have not subscribed. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Oops.